across the country, we found the best of the best. Now, with everything to lose. You guys were cheating. Tempers flare. Nah! So what? I cheated! And the elimination begins. Somebody's going to be packing a knife. It doesn't get more real. Stage Black, next Sunday, 10 Eastern and Pacific on TV One. When you want to see yourself, be yourself, free yourself. I'll be holding auditions today here in Detroit. I want to give you an opportunity like somebody gave me an opportunity. My name is Melissa Princess. My name is Quincy. I'm Houston, Texas. I'm Charmel. I'm a diva. Jay Cotton is what they call me. My passion is singing. I'm Danielle. And I'm from Sacramento, California. I'm Edward, a.k.a. the Hustle King, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. My name is Fallon, and I represent Virginia. I am Gary GT. I'm from Houston, Texas. My name is Marisha. I'm from Atlanta, but I go to school in D.C. at Howard. My name is Justin. People call me Red. I'm from Houston. I think we got a good, good group of talent, and I'm very happy, very happy, very excited to get this show on the road. I'm David E. Talbot. Welcome to Stage. Stage. Ten theater hopefuls. Seven weeks. Two winners. One life-changing opportunity to make it on the stage. Y'all had a good night's rest? Yeah. Good, 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 good. And who's, who sleeps where in this place? And he's on the third, on the top. Okay, so there's no, isn't there no co eds going on? Ain't no tip, ain't no tiptoeing through the tulips? No, ain't no tiptoeing. No, all right, amen, amen, amen. The eyes of the Lord are in all places, beholding the evil. All right, all right, all right. Well, good to have you all here. Glad you got some good rest. Today is about the business. Now, these flyers right here represent a portion of somebody's salary. From the lighting, to the set, to the sound, to the trucking, to the hotel. And it's so important. You know, every time I go and see flyers on the street, a tear almost falls off <laughs> because this is paying for our salaries. There's no job too big, no job too small when you're talking about the live theater. When I first got started, my name was on the marquee, but I would also go put the flyers on the cars and put them on the windshields. And when people would come out of the nightclubs, I'd hand them one. And when people would come out of the churches, I'd hand them a flyer. Here's the wrong way to hand one out. Come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> Definitely the wrong way. Definitely the wrong way. OK. The right way. Hey, brother, it's a good show. Love in the nick of time. You could do that. Morris Chestnut. See, I can't sing, so I can't do that. Feature. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, so that sir. is and also a right way. Yes, but it is connecting with the person, eyeball to eyeball, yes, okay? Sir. I say this all the time when I'm directing, is that you can't touch people unless you're first touched. Right. The thing with singers or actors or anything, when you get material, you can't expect people to be affected by what you do unless you're first affected by what you do. You can't touch unless you're first touched. They will care about the play if you care about the play. And so these are very important to the business side of show. Hey, brother, it's a great show going on, Love in the Nick of Time. Yes, man. sir. You know, and I'm connecting with the eyes, man. If you get a chance, man, check it out, man. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Okay. All right, brother? Thank you. I All definitely right. it's will. It's a great show, sister. Love in the Nick of Time in Houston Holiday Center. You know, eye contact, eye right. contact. I'm affected by it. I'm excited about it. I'm happy about the show, and hopefully that will transfer over. I got to roll, I got to go to the theater, but good luck. Now, y'all know this is a competition, and you know the, the part of it is the elimination. But even though you may be eliminated from the competition, you're not eliminated from your craft. The process of elimination is always very, very stressful um, because you never know either way what's going to happen. So use this as a stepping stone and a learning experience because whether I see you later on tonight, I hope to see you somewhere down the road on the black stage. God bless you all and good luck. God bless you. Handing out those flyers. I'm going to give it my all. All right, so there you have it, from Mr. David E. Talbert himself. You understand what your mission is today? Then Father Love is cool. He's kind of stern at times, but I believe he's, he really wants us to do well. We understand that this is business, like he said, but also, I want you guys to put a little bit more effort into selling this show because 
It's a way for you to show your appreciation. Don't forget, man, you guys are blessed and lucky to be here. There's plenty of actors, I mean real actors, that would love to be in your seat right now. Now, there's two teams, team one and team two. Here's the two teams. Team one, we have Fallon, Danielle, Jay Cotton, Red, Chuck, or ABC. Team two is Gary, Charmel, Mauricia, Hustle King, and Princess. Whatever team wins, you will be extras in the play. You will be on stage. All right? Now, the team that loses, well, you're going to be right back here working. Somebody's going to be packing. Silver, take us away. This is an awesome group of people. They're spiritual. They they really genuinely care about each other. Lord, we love you. We thank you, God. We pray that you will be with us and protect us as we go talk to these people. God, give us favor. God, give us witty inventions and things to do to get people to come out to this play. We thank you for this opportunity, and we bless you and love you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Give us your blessings. Give us your spirit. Give us the will and energy of positivity and being able to recruit as many people as we can to spread the spirit of love. Amen. We all are very, very spiritual, which I think is the reason for us being such a, a strong group and having such a strong bond. Okay, so here we are, right here on Main and Prairie, downtown Houston. Here's your challenge. We got 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Touch as many people as you can, and then we're gonna hit another area. So make these promotions count. Remember, it's a competition, but at the same time, you're promoting a play. All right? Good luck to you guys. Let's hit it. Let's go. Lock, lock, and ready to rock. The teams went their separate ways to figure out their strategy. And on each flyer, we put a different colored little dot, either red or yellow. It's not just passing out flyers. You have to, to really drive home the fact that I'm passing you out this flyer because I want you to come to the play. It's a really, really good play. It's a pun on words about love. It's very amazing. A really good message. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Look, we promoting a play called Love in the Nick of Time, right? Okay. Starring Morris Chestnut, Miss Lady. Come on. This play is absolutely one of the best plays out right now, and I guarantee you it's going to change your life. Handing out those flyers, it was also another form of acting. Because you got to go out there and you got to sell yourself. We're asking everybody if you will come to the play and make sure that you bring this flyer. I guarantee you it's one of the best plays you'll ever go to. You think you'll be able to come to it tonight, man? Tonight at the Hobby Center. Yeah, right behind the overrides, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. 45. 45. Yeah. I'm Hustle King. I'm from Detroit. Yeah. Welcome to you. Thank you. Hey, I'm a promoter. That's all I do. Pass out the flyers. We got Vivian Green. We got Ella English from the Jamie Foxx show. We got a bond on there. It's a beautiful thing. You know, I'm a people person. I meet a lot of people every day, so that wasn't really a hard job. It was like just, you know, being at home. Once you passed out the flyers, the true thing was how many people that get a flyer are going to come to a play. You good? God bless. When they came to the play, they had to bring the flyer with the colored dot. That's how we tally up. Who's going to win this challenge? We have a play that's going on, Love in the Nick of Time. Yeah. I know you know who Mars Chestnut is. Was out there humming and jumping around and sweating and, I mean, and we just did it. It's a wonderful play. You huh? should check it out. Great. Check it out. Bring this fire. Work it, girl. Who is that up there? I'm promoting the play. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull Time is almost up. And let's run back so we don't get disqualified. And let's run back. There's the rest of your group. So we're all standing around. 15 minutes has been up. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, and we're still looking for Mauricia. Did you not understand 15 minutes? Well, yeah, we did, but she's not answering the phone. We were all standing around, looking, waiting for her. Where's Mauricia? How y'all lose Riri, really though, man? 20 minutes go by, and we still ain't seen Mauricia. 25 minutes, 
Like, what is Mauricia? You know, we're like trying to call her cell phone. The plan was to spread up and everybody have an eye on each other. Like, where is this child? Why, why would you let her roam in an unknown city? I guess their team split up. I don't know what they was doing. Finally, after a long wait, Mauricia shows up. What happened? And going after them, the whole other areas that we were covering, we're late getting there. Everyone's late now. Didn't you, you guys didn't have an, uh, an understanding this was 15 minutes? I had a misunderstanding where they were. But you still knew we were supposed to be here for 15 minutes. Everyone was supposed to be back in 15 minutes, right? Correct. So you just said forget 15 minutes? No, I was trying to find my way back here. Okay, so you got lost. Yes. Didn't you have a phone? Yes. You didn't call your, your, your team members? I went across the street to the parking lot to hand out, hand a flyer to a guy who was, who was getting into his car. When I came back, my crew was gone. If one person doesn't do their thing with the rest of the cast, the whole play flops. Not just gonna point out you, they're gonna say, hey, Marisha was late, so we're gonna do the play and you guys just pretend she's here acting her part. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to have an understanding on what your mission is. Not just you have an understanding, you make sure your teammate has an understanding. Okay. I'm gonna make it real clear. When we go to our next location, if you are late, you won't be late to the airport. I promise you that much. It's time to move on to the next location. We're going to City Hall. Okay, guys, we're now at City Hall. We got 10 minutes. Last time we had 15, this time we got 10. Turn around and look at that clock. 10 minutes from now, all right? 10 minutes from now, I need you back here. Let's sell the show. Let's go. Where are we going? We're going to hit these office buildings. Everybody's getting off and work. It's called love, love in the nick of time. Come on, come on, come on. Anyone? Okay. Somebody? Anybody? Nobody? Who is? Please bring this flyer no, 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 no. with this sticker on there. I mean, a lot to Wait, wait, wait. All right, thanks a lot, brother. Where? Okay. So let's get real tape. Okay. Uh. These are the times we all wish for. The moment will last me so much more. We don't have to do a thing at all. Hold it, hold it. I'm a hustle team from Detroit. Oh, I'm an actor. Yes. Nice to meet you. No, yes. no. Like we're trying to get as many people as possible to come out to the show. Okay. And you have is to it say, only tonight? It's not only tonight, but, but the competition is tonight. And if we, if we, how we get how many people, then we get to be in the show tonight. David Tower, uh, with more shows than it. All new songs by Vivian Green, Avon. Show. I was a play at the Hobby Center. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. Can I give you a flyer for love in the nick of time starring um, Morris Chestnut? Okay, All right, so everyone made it here on time. So give these guys a round of applause. Time is, let me explain to you why time is important. We gave you a direction. This is all direction, man. If you don't have direction, you don't have a play. You don't have a movie. You don't have a TV show. You don't have a commercial. You, you have a director, and the director's job is to direct you. Direction is very important. That's why we stress the time thing. Now, bring those up to me. Let me see yours here. At the end of the day, when we're in the box office and we tally them up, we'll see who won this promotional task. I saw you running and stumbling, falling, pants coming off, shirts flying open, hats falling off. But you know what? You guys did a great job, man. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Let's go to the next task. The challenge is over, so now we have to wait to see how many people actually show up to the box office with their flyers. What's up? How you guys doing? Sleep good? Everybody slept good? 
Whoa, Hustle King. What up, though? What happened to you, fro, big? Oh, man, we had to do a little time. Huh? Something brand new for the new year. Okay. Check me. Yeah? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You charged him? No. I let Country Boy butter me up. It, it's cool, but you know, he ain't do all that good. And I told him, I said, you know what? You have really nice features. You know, you have a really nice face. I was like, maybe if you cut your hair, you know, you might be kind of hot. Okay, so we have the results straight from the law firm of black men, black men, black men, black men, black men. Black men. Couple of black female men. <laughs> but everything is here. We got the results. be honest with you though kind of you kind of let me down you know team one right red team right you guys were cheating I was totally shocked because I didn't know that I, some of the stuff I didn't even know went on you were taking flyers out of other people's hands and replacing them with your flyers what is it See, I don't have blue ones Ooh. They were definitely that is shady. I was kind of like, dang, they they really wanted to take our flyers out of somebody else's hand and give them there. I thought we was all one team. Hi. I know you guys already have them, but take one of mine instead. You got on the phone and told people where to come meet you and gave them some flyers out of the competition. Yeah, you need to bring everybody. You need to bring as many people as you know you can bring, and y'all need to come to the play tonight. What's going on, man? I know you want to check out the hottest new play in Houston tonight, right? Meet me at Sharp's time on in about, about two hours, okay? Of course, we cheated because we were making phone calls, but I thought that was the advantage of having somebody from Houston on each side. If we was in Miami, you couldn't have done that. I mean, it's cool, but come on. Ethically? I mean, what was the song with God on our side and nothing standing our way, right? You don't have to cheat when you got God on your side, man. I mean, you know, you, Jay Cotton, you stood up here with... David E. Talbert, and he told you, he tried, he showed you how to hand out the flyer. And you say, oh, I know how to do it. But you didn't even rely on your own skill. You, yes, Danielle, you too. You saw how you took flyers out of, oh, oh, what do you got? You got a yellow? Oh, take this red. Give me that yellow. We saw you throw the flyers away. Throw them away. Forget who put the money up for this. Forget the fact that we're trying to generate money so a whole crew can get paid. We're just going to throw it away. We, yeah, we're going to throw it away. Why? Because we got the secret plan. I was just like, when they, when they first said it, I was like, what? We got Red making the call for us. We're going to have a whole bunch of people there. You both sold yourselves short. You didn't rely on your skills. I'm going to tell you when we get to the theater and we're doing our monologues, that's when I'm going to tell you who's going to be going home. So suck on that. Feel that, okay? I'm gonna tell you who won when I get ready to tell you who won. You know, I'm so mad at them, I'm not telling them nothing. I'm gonna let them marinate on this for a bit. He's upset. We're on punishment. We can't find out who wins until he decides to come back and tell us who wins. And we passed out a lot. We passed out a lot. And we had a lot of people who confirmed that they were gonna come. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did make some phone calls. I know I had a good eight people there, for sure. This man was on the phone. Yeah! Be quiet. Let me finish. He has to go somewhere. Okay, I'm going to let y'all talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because I don't have a voice and I'm last not going to lose it. Last night. Everybody was on the phone because we were on the phone. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
people don't like being told the truth. People don't like when you hold a mirror up to them. If one person cheated, the whole team cheated. Hold on, hold it's on, not a higher team. We are a team. No, I, 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 didn't, I didn't cheat. Me... I didn't go take no damn flyers from nobody. <laughs> I ain't take from nobody else. Okay. But my team cheated. So guess what? I cheated. You told me your plan just didn't go right. I can't be, you can't be mad Look at me because my plan Look, 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 Look at you guys, man. You said that. Look at y'all. You really are missing the point, man. Because the next challenge is a monologue. You have to start preparing a monologue. Right after we have this meeting, start preparing your monologues because that's, you can't cheat in a monologue. If you're not together, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Let's get ready for the monologues, all right? All right. <clears throat> Time to give out the results. How you guys feel? Good. Yeah? Focus? You focus, man. <laughs> I can feel your focusness. All right. hand I have four of the other color okay which is when freeze came in and made the announcement we were caught we was excited but we really didn't know what to expect get a walk-on role in the play tonight. The losing team, well, we have another challenge. And let me tell you, somebody's going home tonight. I have four of one color. And I have 12 yellow, which is team two. Yeah. I know for a fact that more people turned in Flyers, then four. Okay, four? No. They won the first time, we won the second time. We're in it to win it. We did what we had to do to win, which we lost in the end. There was no way the other team should have won. So, here's the deal. Team two, you win. Go get ready. You're about to go on stage with Mr. David E. Talbot. You're going to be in tonight's performance. <laughs> the challenge but you didn't the reality is now you are going to perform your monologues this is an opportunity for you to secure your win even but they are going to be in a real play right now you know so we're gonna do you five each one of you is going to do your monologue the weakest two well, somebody's going home tonight. So, let's go. Let's get it. I don't think it was fair. We worked hard in Houston. It's not our fault that they lost. And I do think the outcome was fair, very fair. I Work, ran like that in a long time. You don't serve. Why am I working wrong? <laughs> I was like, man, even the, the, the team that loses, they actually kind of get a sweeter deal because they get to do monologues in front of David E. Talbert. Like that. Acting is not hitting your mark and saying your lines. That's not acting. That's being yourself. Um, and I, take, I don't take myself too seriously at all because I love I just I'm, I'm a, I'm a crazy. But I do take the craft of acting very seriously. And if you're going to call yourself an actor, do the work. 
put in the work. You get to show your talent to them, which to me is a bigger reward. It's going to be fun to watch how these different actors apply that. What I love to see is watching people go to the next level. When my team won, what we got was a walk-on role on the main stage production in front of 2,500 people in Houston. Now, what could have set that off? Thank you. Come over here every night and tell me this thing. Jelly has a new picture. team is backstage getting ready for their stage debut. The losing team is on pins and needles in the other theater. You can just put the seat like you said, the fire in you. Yeah, <laughs> now, if I was you, I would think about it the next time I spent $150 man, man, man. on a pair of sneakers that only cost 49 cents to make. I want this position. I need this position. I can't go back to home. I can't go back to Detroit empty-handed. What would MLK do in this situation? He wouldn't do this. <laughs> on my big walk on road, love a nigga time. Yeah, you know they had me uh, chase down a vine. Mom, I'm an actor. Yeah, man. They say. Opening night was a huge success in Houston. The winning team, they got a chance to even have a walk-on role in the show. But now, the other team is... Because somebody's going to go home. This is when it gets tough. Pressure busts pipes or makes diamonds. This is an elimination challenge. And we decided to do it in monologue fashion. Monologues are some of the most important tools of an actor because when you go to an audition, it gives us a snapshot, a sneak peek into what you could do with a small piece of material if we gave you an opportunity to have a large piece of material. I feel great about going on first. I'm setting the tone. Acting is just an understanding. Let's do it. It's a kind of shift of mindset of understanding human nature, understanding human emotions, and fusing the two. And it's going to take some work to make that happen. Act. That's why Nike put Michael Jordan on a basketball shoe. That's why Nike put Michael Jordan on a basketball shoe and sell it to the low-income inner-city black kids for $150. And sells them to low-income inner-city black kids for $150. So, so they can what? Be like Mike. Uh, Jay. Jay, what's up, man? How you feel? Good. I'm blessed. My man. So did you get the character description of, of that? Deshaun? Yes. Yes, sir. How old is he? Oh, they didn't, I didn't. How old was, do you think he is? Uh, in his mid-20s. How old are you? 24. Okay, does that sound like the way you would talk? I just, I tried to bring a character to it. I tried to make it, uh, how I would just bring it. Uh, just be a character, you But know? is that how you would talk? Uh, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't you say. You wouldn't talk like that? No. What you did was you made a 24-year-old character. You made a 24-year-old character sound like he was behind a pulpit preaching. Okay. You know, raise a love offering at the church. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Right. Right? Right. So that was just a wrong choice. Okay. See, acting is being. Mm -hmm. it, that's what it is. Okay. Can I do it again? No, we got to do that. Somebody else, but but remember that. Okay. Okay, my brother. Thank you. My Thank man, you my man. You, you got skills, easy. Doc. You Thank got you. skills. I don't think you can never be the best actor you can be. There's nobody out here that can't learn anything. You can be 84 and still learn something from a man that's 24. He's so animated and um, uh, has so much energy, so it's going to be a tough act to follow. But uh, I'm going to get out there and do me, and hopefully they uh, respect me for doing me. That's why Nike puts Michael Jordan on a basketball shoe 
and sells them to the low income any set of black kids for $150. So, sells them to the low income any set of black kids for $150. When the parents need to be like Ike Turner and tell them, I can't afford to pay for you and your brother to be like Mike. But the parents should be like Ike. Turn and tell him, look, I can't afford for you or your nappy head brother to be like Mike. I can't afford for you and your brother to be like Mike. It's all right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. That's why Nike put Michael Jordan. That's why Nike put Michael Jordan on the basketball shoe to sell the lower income inner city black kids. For what? So they can what? Be like Mike? When they should have been like Ike Turner and tell them I can't afford for you or your nappy headed brother to be like Mike. But what do we do? But what do we do? We run up every credit card we get our hands on, take out a second mortgage on the house, ask the, ask the preacher for a love offering at the church, ask the preacher for a love offering at the church, cash out, cash out our insurance policies. For what? All for what? All for what? What? For your badass kid to be like Mike. So our bad ass kids can be like Mike? So our bad ass kids can be like Mike? So our bad ass kids can be like Mike? Price inflation, black, black people. If I were you, Thank you. That's my son. I'm sorry. That's my son. That's your mistake. Remember? That's my son. That's your mistake, remember? I want him to go to college. I want him to finish school, go to college, make something of himself. I'm sorry. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. That's my son. That's your mistake, remember? I want him to finish school, go to college, make something of his life. Going on the road with you will only confuse him into believing that running from his responsibilities will make him a man. Or waking up in a different city with a different woman will make him a man. It's never been about me or your son. It's just that one note you've been playing for 17 years. I think I did better than what I expected, considering my nerves. And I didn't want that to show. I guess that helped me in a way, because I was so nervous. And I kind of turned that nervousness, nervousness into a little bit of anger. I deserve it, and I'm worth it. Thank you. I'm done? Yeah. Oh, I messed up. It was a few times that allowed me to do it. It's never been about me or your son. It's never been about me or your son, Marcellus. Just that same one note that you've been playing for 17 long years. Just that one note you've been playing for 17 years. Me, me, me. And there's nothing beautiful or musical about a horn player that plays the same one damn note over and over and over again. Thank you. And I'm not trying to be conceited or anything at all, but at this point, I don't feel like I have any competition. <laughs> That's why Nike put Michael Jordan on a basketball shoe and sells them to 
low income in the city black kids for 150 and and the, the problem so that, like that, that uh, young actors make is the choices that's what separates the good actors and bad ones it's just the, the good actors make better choices i can't afford to pay for you and your brother to be like mike I feel for the brother because I like I, ABC. I, I like him too. Good spirit, good spirit to do. He's a very gifted performer. I think mm -hmm. he sings mm -hmm. so naturally. Mm -hmm. I honestly, I think even it's just a, with a guy like him, it's a comfort thing. He's comfortable singing. Cash out our insurance policies for what? All for what? So our bad ass kids can be like Mike. So our bad ass kids can be like Mike. <laughs> so our bad ass kids can be like Mike. <laughs> you feel for people. <laughs> you feel for people. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not an easy thing. I want him to finish school, go to college, make something of his life. Going on the road with you will only confuse him into believing that. Running from his responsibilities will make him a man. Or waking up in a I'm different place. I'm pleasantly surprised that she attacked it. It's you know, she you. wasn't scared of the material. Uh, but most people don't know, you just got to power through. Right. Because, again, no one's expecting you to memorize it. Right. You just want to see the character. And there's nothing beautiful or musical about a horn player that plays the same one damn note over and over and over again. Very good. She certainly won't be going home. <laughs> she certainly won't be going home. All right, all right. That was a little tricky, huh, for y'all? <laughs> uh, first of all, I want to uh, applaud you all for uh, being bold enough to come in and attack that monologue. Now, now, when you come in here, never get sidetracked by words. Mm -hmm. You never, ever have to memorize word for word a monologue. When you come into audition, we only want to know that, we only want to see the character. Nobody's expecting you to know the lines. Just get the gist of it and power through it. Because on stage, how will the audience know you messed up a line? Mm -hmm. Right. How, how will they know? Mm -hmm. There's only one way for them to know. And that's you letting them know. If you say, oh, um, mm, how do they know? They've never seen the play. They don't know what's in the script. So you power through it. That's the most important thing about theater. No one's going to know that you messed up except you and your cast members. And then after that show, you go to your script, you get a chance to rehearse it some more, work on it some more, and get it done. Now here's the tough part about the whole competition. we got to send somebody home. Freeze, you have any comments? Yeah, I just, um, just want to just applaud you guys. Whatever the outcome may be, let it strengthen you. Even though you may be finished here, that project. It ain't as easy as it seems. No. 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 So I do applaud each and every one of y'all for coming out here and attacking it. You know? I applaud that. Thank you for your Thank work. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, the mama over here, now I was expecting you from your audition to come in here and wear that thing out. You did a good job with it. You had presence, I saw character, and I was very impressed. Danielle, you're going to be with us a little bit longer. Thank okay? you. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Jay Cotton, I think you can make it on the black stage, but you've got to make better choices, brother. Because you got swagger, you got presence, all that. I just want you to make better choices. Don't reinvent the wheel, brother. Trust your instincts. If your instincts is saying this is a 20-year-old character and he would say it that way, trust your instincts, okay? They will never steer you wrong. Yeah, I think you might have a place on the black stage. You're going to be with us for a while. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Model from Washington, D.C. I was very proud that you stepped up. Next time, I want you to make sure no more w much wiggling, okay? Presence, okay? You might have a place on the black stage, okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs>
You'll be with us for a little while longer. <laughs> My brothers, Red and ABC. Now, you two had the most severe meltdown on that monologue, but I know it's tough. I know it's tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a sing-off with you two, okay? I want to now, since you're a singer, and you're a singer, and you're comfortable with interpreting lyrics, mm -hmm. okay? <clears throat> then I want you to interpret uh, a nursery rhyme. Old MacDonald had a farm. I want you to interpret that. Make me feel that you're as comfortable with those words as you will be with my words if you get a chance to be on the black stage, okay? First, I want to hear uh, Red. Let me, let me hear you, Red. And on that farm. And on that farm, on that farm, on that farm. Some pigs. Some pigs, yeah, some pigs. Oh, they had pigs on that farm. E-I-E-I-O. Thank you, thank you, good job. Let me see what you can do for me. Oh, McDonald had a farm. <laughs> and on that farm he had a pig. E With an oink, oink here, and an oink, oink there. Here and oink, every oink, everywhere, and oink, oink. Oh, McDonald had a farm, yes. E-I-E-I, -I -E -I. oh, 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 oh. Now, that's how comfortable you have to be with dialogue. Now, ABC, I know you got something in you, my brother. But you didn't show me, right? Yeah. But you got it in you. Oh, yeah. Black man, when I came in there in Houston, I saw it in you, okay? I don't want to see a deer in the headlight when you're reading your lines. All right. Red, you got swagger, Doc. You got swagger and flavor. But you got to make sure that you bring that energy, that same confidence that you have with, with singing when you, when, you, when you read the words. So the competition comes down to this. Red, I'm unfortunately going to have to send you home, my brother. Appreciate you. Man. Black man, you got talent, you got skills. And I want to see you. I want to see you as we continue to rise to the top. Okay, my brother? All the best, God. Appreciate it. Thank you. I will not let you down. I will not let you down. My man, you still may have a chance to thank perform you. on the black stage, my thank man. Thank you, thank you, my thank man. you, thank you. Yes, sir! Man! <laughs> I want to go to that farm. I'm so sorry. Whatever farm he had. <laughs> like, he I mean, like so. <laughs> the stage proves the talent that that person has like nothing else for an actor. It is the actor's medium. From the time that curtain goes up to the time the curtain goes down, it's you, it's all you. An editor's not gonna come in and step in and cut something out. The director's not gonna stand up and say cut in the middle of a performance. Um, so it's, it's, that's where the actor shines, or not. I hope it's still the same, bro. Holla at me, man. So, so. Oh. <laughs> 
Most people first get into show business, they really focus on the show. But really, show business should be called business show. Because anyone who stays in show business for any period of time has to learn to navigate themselves through the business part of show more than the show part of business. That's what our contestants learned today. Tonight, you're going to perform at an open mic in the village. This was a chance for each contestant to either sing, rap, do spoken words, do a monologue, do whatever you could, but whatever you did, you had to be good. Down south for love, they see who we are, they see that we star, they gave us down south for love. We gonna switch it up. And I sing 